You know, few people think that their dog would actually bite until it's too late. But actually biting is the last of a series of signals that indicate there may be a problem. Owners should be possibly concerned with things like barking uncontrollably and lunging or straining at the leash toward other dogs or passers-by. Barking frantically at or leaping toward distractions isn't unusual or necessarily vicious behavior. It often begins because of simple overexcitability. But barking and straining at the leash indicates a loss of emotional control, which, if not checked, can breed aggressive tendencies. Suddenly, the dog may nip, lunge, chase, or even bite and attack. Fortunately, basic dog training skills can be used to control the onset of aggressive and crazy behavior before it evolves into something more serious. As a responsible dog owner, you'll want to recognize out-of-control situations instead of denying them or searching for excuses for bad behavior, such as, oh, he's acting crazy because I only walked him three times instead of four yesterday. Teach them to obey the first command around distractions and use and enforce those commands before a situation gets stressful or chaotic. Finally, remember to keep control of the people in your dog's life. Don't leave your dog unsupervised if unfamiliar people could have access, even if he's in your own backyard. And don't think just a large and medium-sized dogs can be intimidating. The small ones can too. Any dog who takes a dislike to others or tunes you out when his adrenaline soars because of what's around him in his environment can pose a danger. Here's a good rule of thumb. Anytime that your dog shows interest in a distraction, instead of restraining him, practice obedience in rapid fire succession. Whether your dog is ordinarily really responsive or kind of in between, be ready to enforce those commands. That way you're going to teach your dog to focus on you instead of on crazy behavior.